love it or hate it, social media is here to stay. But there's little argument that what our kids see online is having an effect on them. That's leading some in Congress to call for bans. They would keep anyone under 13 off social media and change how content is recommended to anyone under 18. But as Lauren Petty finds, it might be too little too late. Nia Cortez sees it in her therapy sessions. I've had it where kids have told me like, oh, like I'm on TikTok and then I'm watching videos on funny animals and then here I am watching, you know, somebody talk about their depression and anxiety and eating disorder. Now, do I have an eating disorder? I don't know. A therapist for teens ages 13 to 18 in Wheaton, Cortez says the teens she talks with often go online looking for community. I do think it is a part of their lives and a big piece as to why they do struggle with themselves and trying to, you know, love themselves and figure out, you know, do I belong here or not? The teen mental health crisis is the reason behind the Protecting Kids on Social Media Act, a bipartisan bill introduced in the U.S. Senate in April. It would prohibit anyone under the age of 13 from accessing social media platforms. Someone as young as 10 has no business being on, you know, any social media account. Um, they're still young. It would also prohibit platforms from using algorithms to recommend content to anyone under the age of 18. You like a video, you like a post, you're going to get more of that post, more of that content and draws you in and sometimes takes us in terrible places. Well, that's what's been doing to all of our kids. Tanya Haig is the founder of Kids 2, a nonprofit focused on child protection that supports the bill. We are way past due, to be honest, about two decades and now there's so much um, that we need to fix, um, including the mental health of our kids. The Protecting Kids on Social Media Act is one of just several bills before Congress right now in response to the teen mental health crisis. Sometimes they overlap and it's kind of off to the races to see which ones are going to get signed first. Critics say social media access should be a parent's choice, not Congress. If we did have parents who did step up and take that responsibility, then we maybe we wouldn't have government trying to step in and do that part. Cortez tells parents of kids with access to social media to focus on these two things. First and foremost, know what they are on. Um, you know, just like you would in like an in-person interaction, know their friends online as well. But the bill and others like it, leaving some questions unanswered, including who would enforce the ban and how. We'll be right back.